The Upper Soda Valley football team looking to make history. The Rams sitting 8th in Division 7, Region 28 entering tonight, looking for their first playoff bid in school history. A win tonight over Hard Northern puts them at 5-3. And, and in tonight's OIO Prep Profile, we meet three Rams that are a big reason for that playoff push. In the first half of the first game of the season at rival Ada, USV's all-league running back Austin Sloan went down with injury, missing the rest of the non-league games. While well, he was disappointed, he was being prepared to take adversity in stride. My freshman year, I guess I kind of came with an all-about-myself mentality, not worried about everyone else. And then my junior year, I kind of just had a realization. I Coach Spencer asked if I wanted a small, if I would take a smaller role in the offense, but help our team, and I said, yeah. And it just kind of made me realize, hey, I need to put this team before myself, and that's when we really started to win. Last year we had playoff opportunity, and this year we're looking to do the same. But last year, um, you know, we ran an offense called the Flex Bone, where we moved him to a wing, which really cut down on his carries. So we had to go to him and ask him if he was willing to take a smaller role in the offense. And um, he's the ultimate team player. Uh, he just told me anything he can do to help the team win. He was willing to do it. And uh, that's what I love about him most. Another senior leader, Peyton Dyer, has also been bit by the injury bug. And my mom kind of jokes with me, I've never actually played the last game of a season. So um, that's my goal this year, of course. Peyton is the ultimate leader on our team. Um, you know, he kind of gets the guys going. He works as hard as anyone, and um, you know when things aren't going the right way, things are um, you know going bad. He's the guy we kind of lean on to get everyone back to where they need to be. I slimmed down from my sophomore year, and now I'm one of the smallest guys on the line, which is challenging. But all you know, I get a I get to show what I'm made of, even though I'm small. <laughs> it was a l very challenging because I went from one of the big guys who it's hard to move, and it's a big guy you know, easy to get through the line to, oh, now I have to use this entirely different tactic called speed. And so <laughs> I've had a ref come up to me this year. He's like, man, I've, I don't think this season I've seen someone as fast off the ball as you. And it's, you know, that makes me feel pretty good knowing how large I was at one point. And the Rams leaders on the football field are also their leaders in the weekly Fellowship of Christian Athletes meeting. It's always just given me a place to go and like have fellowship with um, my classmates and my teammates. And I mean, you, you can't really get that anywhere else. So it, it's just something special to me. There's temptations and life's hard and um, the devil's going to take what he, he can get. And like that, that I had a realization about that. And so I have to stay true to God. And, and that's difficult in today's world. 